Hello. In this video, we will explore whether ChatGPT can be helpful for user and market research. We will start with competitor analysis. To make our experiment more specific, we will conduct research for a new mobile app for hotel booking. Let's identify common issues that all products in this niche have. We need to ask ChatGPT to summarize common issues that mobile users face when they use hotel booking apps. As you can see, some points that ChatGPT provided are way too general. For example, poor user interface doesn't uncover specific UI issues. But a few points that ChatGPT mentioned in this list are super helpful, payment issues and limited customer support. Those are two major areas of friction for many users. Now let's ask ChatGPT to provide a list of direct competitors for our product. To make a list more specific, let's mention in our prompt that we focus primarily on the US market. Once we have a list of competitors, we can ask ChatGPT a follow-up question to identify the market share that each competitor has. As you can see, Booking.com and Expedia are two major players in our market. We need to learn what customers like and dislike about Booking.com and Expedia, and we can ask ChatGPT to provide this information. The strengths and weaknesses of our direct competitors will help us make a SWOT analysis. Let's start with things customers like about our primary competitor. ChatGPT mentioned a few great points, such as transparent pricing and customer reviews and rating. If you have experience using services like Airbnb, you know why transparent pricing is extremely important. Let's ask ChatGPT to summarize the downsides of using Booking.com. Cancellation policies and limited customer service are two areas in which Booking.com have problems. We need to consider those areas when building our product. Now let's define key business metrics. The metrics we set during this step will help us evaluate our design decisions. Let's see if ChatGPT can be helpful for that. As you can see, the list provided by ChatGPT contains a few standard metrics, such as retention rate, customer acquisition cost, lifetime value, and NPS. Most for-profit apps rely on those metrics when they evaluate their performance. At the same time, the tool also mentioned a few specific metrics, such as bookings and average booking value. It's time to learn who will use our product. The better we understand the target audience and their needs, the more chances we will create user-centered design. Let's create a user persona. A user persona is an archetype of an ideal user. Product creators use personas to evaluate design decisions. We asked ChatGPT to create a few user personas for our product. The tool was able created three user personas, business, budget and luxury traveler. For each persona, it specified demographics, needs and wants and provided relevant contextual information. Since our app will have one primary persona and a few secondary personas, let's ask ChatGPT to figure out what will be a primary persona from this list. Along with user persona, popular travel destinations will give us a better idea of how users will use a product. Since we aim for the US market, it's vital to identify popular travel destinations in the US. Once we know who will use our app, our user personas, we need to know how they want to use it. It's time to dive into the user journey and identify specific steps users will follow when interacting with a product. User journey will give us a bird's eye view of a product experience so that we can use this information when designing an actual application. ChatGPT can create a decent user journey. The journey communicates all the steps users take when booking a hotel. Let's see if ChatGPT can help us identify popular use cases for a hotel booking app. Use cases are specific tasks that users want to achieve using a product. The list that ChatGPT provided is not exactly use cases but rather an overview of the app's functionality. But this information can be helpful during design process. No matter how much time we invest in user research, we need to validate all our insights about the user and their behavior by conducting interviews and surveys with people who represents our target audience. Let's see if ChatGPT can help us find the right interview questions. Overall, ChatGPT created a solid list of questions that can be used for user research. At the end of our experiment, it's vital to mention that ChatGPT cannot be used as a complete replacement for human user researchers. It's best suited as a digital assistant that can help speed up some research activities. Still, product creators should always validate the information the tool provides and spend time working with real users to understand their needs and wants.